Hey guys, this is Just One Guy, and this is my tutorial series, Unity for Noobs. Now in this episode, what we're going to do is, we're going to learn how the uh, matchmaking system works. Just a second here. Okay, now the important thing with the matchmaking system is, before, when you went online, it would only be local. It would only work with one computer. But through the matchmaking system, uh, it's going to work non-locally. You can put a version of this game with another computer, and you can play from there, and you can connect it. Now the thing is, the multiplayer, I mean the matchmaking system, is kind of glitchy and broken. To a degree, I'd say. But it, it uh, it's got some problems, and you have to put some code to make it work uh, for yourself. Otherwise, if you just tried to use it straight out of the box, it wouldn't work on a non-local system. Okay, let's just give an example here. Enable matchmaking. We have our create internet match right here. We're just going to create a match over the network. We get to name it right here. Just going to name it. And we're going to name it Unity for Noobs. Okay, now we're going to create the match. And on this side, we're going to enable matchmaking. And we're going to hit find internet match and it found it and now we're going to join a match if it ever wants to start <laughs> okay and you can see that's how it works got our character they're running around blah 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 I've already shown how to do this in uh, other tutorials you can go back and look at it if you want to see how but the important thing is be able to find a match over the network and do it non-locally okay let's just hit stop on both of these X that up okay hold, just gotta open a few scripts now what I have here is this uh, matchmaking network and what this is is a ne uh, network manager but the important thing about it it does everything the regular network manager does but I've added a little bit of code just to change it. Now let's edit the script. Uh. Yeah, this might take a while because I'm recording. But while, while my own development is taking its time opening, let's go over a few of the things. It's the same as before, we had to dump destroy and load, which you have to click, the running background, which you have to click. You put the online scene, in, I mean the offline scene in, and then you put the online scene in. And remember, these must be in the build settings before you can put them in here. Just cut off this real quick, wait till it load. Then we have our network settings, which isn't important right now, just leave them the same. Uh, just make sure you don't change the, the port thing right here, because if you change it, it won't connect on the, uh, the matchmaking system. I don't know why, it just won't do it. And then we have our spawn uh, info, which has our player object that we want to instantiate. The player has to have a network identity and probably a network transform too. And we click the auto create player. And let's go to the script. Okay, the first thing we're doing is we're importing the Unity dot networking system to get it uh, all our networking functions then we're importing the networking match and this uh, gets the matchmaking system and then we have a public class uh, unity uh, networking manager which extends network manager now once you put this line in right here it'll automatically become a network manager and the script will automatically have all this stuff right here Let's accidentally unclick that and then we have our private var which is the network match and I can't remember what this exactly does, but uh, if I remember correctly, it holds all the information for the network match. But what's important is this bit of code right here. Now, this bit of code allows the uh, the networking, I mean, the matchmaking system to work. Without this bit of code, you won't be able to connect to the uh, the system from another computer. It only work locally, and it won't work uh, non-locally. So that's what this uh, code right here is and I can't claim to know exactly what it does I only know kinda because I translated the script from uh, JavaScript but this was a solution I spent days uh, going through the forums just to find 
and I just wanted to share it in this video because a lot of people are having trouble with the matchmaking system and this you need this code right here which is the problem and what it does is it just gets the, um, the network match component now what's funny is you would try to look for this component but it doesn't exist except at runtime at runtime what's gonna happen is it's gonna take this uh, networking manager right here and add the network uh, match component and that's how it's gonna uh, exist that took me a while to figure out because for a long time I saw it in the documentation and I was looking for that particular component but it doesn't exist and then basically I guess it says if the the uh, component is no then I think it adds one I'm not for sure but anyway it adds one then it changes this uh, app data ID whatever it, whatever this is to this and this is what allows it to connect over a, a network from another computer so that's just really important and as always your script must be named uh, match, matchmaking uh, manager if you want to uh, change the name of the script you have to change the name this name right here now that's enough of that now the second part is you have to go here uh, you have to go to edit I believe project settings and is it yeah player and you have to go right here and you have to set your cloud project ID for this to work now before that you have to go to Unity's multiplayer uh, whatever uh, website and you have to sign in and create an account and everything like that you just basically sign in and then you create an account fill out all this information I've already created the account so it'll probably be a little bit different for you and then you have to uh, go into your account and this number right here, this UPDID, you have to take this number, copy it, and then you have to paste it into the uh, cloud network settings. And that's how you get that number. Now, sometimes it's a glitch with the matchmaking system, which you'll hit play, and it'll say it can't find that ID. What you do is, you just click off the ID, I mean, uh, you do uh, erase this, and then you repaste it, and it should fix the glitch. I've had that problem happen several times and that's how I fixed it and I uh, believe just the number not the uh, the words right here I had that problem I copy and pasted the whole thing and it didn't work so remember just start from the, uh, the uh, right here not this actual UPID thing and I believe that's it that's how you get the match breaking system to work you can play it Just enable matchmaker and you create the match and then another one you find the match and you can connect online and you can start multiple games now just to make sure I went over everything let's check if there's anything different of course I added the network manager HUD script and I have this checked this shows the GUI that that's what allows that to work which I went over in uh, other tutorials so that's why I'm kind of skipping over it here and that's about it I believe yeah okay I hope that helps everyone out with the matchmaking system it took me a while to figure this out and days and days of going over the forums and I really hope this help, uh, helps everyone out and if you like this video please like and subscribe and if you want to suggest a tutorial please suggest a tutorial in the comments down below thank you for watching